Hello guys, this is Steve, and I'm doing a final, a final review of the uh, Liberator rocket stove, and I think overall the rocket stove has been a very, very successful adventure for me and my wife this winter. Well, I'm just putting uh, my final review on this stove. Um, we have gone through uh, right at 100 bags of pellets. And that has been since November 8th. Uh, November 8th, it hit us really hard. The snow did. We installed this just before the snow or right after the snow whatever it was right like right there November 14th or somewhere around there when we installed this and we've been burning pellets every day uh, ever since then so it's been almost a hundred bags that we've burned and we just bought and we just purchased our our third our third uh, ton of pellets so that's 50 more bags that'll probably last us the rest of the spring and beyond uh, we get about 14 hours per day on each bag. We have a furnace that comes on. Uh, so our house, we like to have our house cool off in the, in the night, and our furnace runs at 62, 69 degrees um, till we wake up and we just start the pellet stove back up about 9 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, I want to talk just a little bit about the adjustment of the tube to the burn basket uh, and also the return having one side plugged and having a return that you can open up you can open it up or you can shut it down now this is a damper but the damper doesn't totally close off the pipe this damper has like a, a quarter inch, like a, it has like an air gap between it. It's, it's not a full on seal. The, it just, it just lets up enough air, it slows that down. And we can get more burn time out of the pellets if we slow the air down. Um, it's proven. So by having it uh, open, we have it open all day long, all day. And if we wanted to make it last longer, we'd close it. Uh, <clears throat> I had problems with smoke coming up through my pellet hopper. But here's the solution. The solution to the, to the smoke is having your, 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 your down pipe close enough to your burn basket. And having your burn basket not too forward and not too back, that burn basket has to be exactly where that pipe is at. So, <laughs> here's the thing. That pipe is only 19 and a half inches long. And I put it down as far as it'll go, and that is 19 and 3 eighths. You can't put a half... The set screw is a is a is a is one eighth of an inch anyway. So in other words, you put the pipe down to nineteen and three eighths, and set the set screw, and your set screw is right on the edge of that pipe, holding that pipe up. That's nineteen and three eighths, and it brings it down to like really close to the burn basket, but not touching it. So you can take the burn basket and you can you can take the burn basket and actually lift it up a little bit and make sure that your pipe is like right there. You can hear it. Tink, 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 tink. That's where your burn basket should sit. Right there. It shouldn't be too this way or too that way. You've got to have your burn basket directly underneath your pipe. It's very important that you do this. And it'll burn correctly, and there won't be no smoke. That's the solution. 
bring it down as far as you can, set the screw, and have your burn basket right there. You can pick it up a little bit, and you can tink, 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 okay, tinky, tinky, tink, like that, and then that's where the burn basket should stay. It's very important that you do that because otherwise you'll have smoke problem, you know, coming up through the hopper. This way you won't have smoke problems. So it works flawlessly. It's a good stove and it's a good purchase. I appreciate it having it. It, it has done its job this winter. <laughs> Let's put it to you that way. Uh, pellets have been really nice. It's been, it's been a real nice break from uh, uh, having to chop wood all, all winter. So that's that. That's my review. I would probably give it about three and a half stars. I'm sorry, you know, because we did have quite a bit of trouble with smoke. And it took a lot of figuring out how to fine tune that pipe in the burn basket. And that's the trick. Fine tuning the tube and the burn basket together, that will get you away from the smoke going up through your, ho uh, through your hopper. Okay? So, that's it. My final review. Three and a half stars. It's a great stove. You just got to make sure everything's lined up. <laughs> All right, folks. Have a great uh, spring and summer. Hopefully. <laughs> it looks like spring's coming. We got some robins. Snow's melting. Good grief. It's been a long winter. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. You guys have a have a great summer. I might make some YouTubes about uh, wood chunking. Chunking wood because I'm trying to put together some sort of a wood chunker. I'm still trying to figure out how to process my wood so I can burn wood in this stove. But this has been a very nice pellet stove. <laughs> it's a good pellet stove. I'm just trying to figure out how to burn my wood in it. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on that for sure. All right. We'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.